wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I have it. <laughs> I think I finally have it. Oh my god. <laughs> that took such a long time. I've been here for like 10 minutes trying to do this. This is what I get for trying to do it while I'm tired. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's see what this chest. Okay. Interesting. This is a fairly interesting puzzle, and I'm not entirely sure where it's going. I think I'm supposed to be able to place all these, get this entire floor filled with chests, maybe? Uh, I think I'm screwed up here. Uh, oops. Wait. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to... There's the lilac. I'm supposed to grab... I'm supposed to keep going with them until they have something, which apparently is a lilac. Maybe if I write lilac in the book? Oops. That last puzzle I just realized didn't have any... It was just a straight-up puzzle. It wasn't any entry into the book here. Okay, that worked then. Puzzle 7. Nice. Nice and easy. Blue Orchid. I love that Blue Orchid. Hello. I'm assuming that that might be... Oblivion's skull? Okay. Um... Well... I'm going to see what the hint is, because I have no idea here. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. There's a hidden button in this room. Check every block of... There's a hidden button? Really? That's what you're going with? Hidden button? Okay. That's fine. Interesting that it's not always the... Uh... Ah, I, I see it. Not always the entry button. Or, entry into the book answer. Oh, shoot. Let me just... There we go, I got it. And it switched around, I'm guessing. Yep, right there. Oh, yeah, it's a find the hidden button and then chase it around the room. I don't mind it. It's just weird. Well, that sounds like I'm judging. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> uh, behind the door, nothing. Okay. Did you go back up here somewhere? Probably back there. Oh boy, I make myself nauseous. Myself nauseous, sure Nash. Oh, there it is. I'm doing make myself nauseous doing that. Why did the door close? Hmm. No idea. Why did the door close? Aha! That's why. Whoa! That was kind of cool. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I'm going to type this out. It's... Oops. Lip of... Who... It's Lipofootsly. Hey guys, check it out. It's Lipofootsly. <laughs> it. Oh, stupid book. It's Lipofootsly. Cool, that worked. Oh, hello. I'm, I'm in. I'm. I'm confused. There's an invisible thing over there. Okay, this is kind of interesting, though. It's turning with me. So we have to hit gold, stone, oh, you move four. Oh, there's another one over there. Yeah, there is indeed. So we have to hit gold, stone, wood, stone, iron. Okay, so we jump. Gold. <laughs> oh, man, this is difficult. 
Did any of them get hit? Probably. Uh, then wood. Oh, dear. <laughs> this is really hard to do. Okay, that one we just hit that one straight up. Oh, shoot, I hit the gold again. Hmm. This is strange. Okay, hit the wooden one. Then we have to hit the stone one again. Then iron. Nice! That one was not too bad. It was just a little bit difficult co to control myself on the ice. <laughs> Which I'm sure was the point of the map. The box data. The box data. Oh, shoot. That just went... Uh-oh. Um... <laughs> That's not good. I just want to see what the hint is to make sure I don't actually need that in the item frame. Because if I do, then I'm screwed. The blocks in the wall correspond to the pressure plates. Parkour to each one in the right order. Armor stands trigger pressure plates. Oh, hint two for the second part. I was like, that's not helpful to me. <laughs> that's really not helpful to me here. <laughs> hint two. Go check out the safe file. Oh, the name of the, name of the map is the box. Okay. Uh, okay, check out the safe file. In that case, I'll be right back. Also, just had to replace the stick right there. Very tricky, a little bit. No, not very tricky, but a little bit tricky, because this that you see right here is the answer. It's M with the... Uh, I can't remember what those represent. I want to say Mega or something. I have no idea. Something like that. But that's exactly what we need to write into their book here. If we can type it. There we go. That's fantastic. Puzzle 9. Woo! Redstone! Aren't you excited? Okay. And that will give us that one. Okay. Can't open any of those. Hint. And crafting table. Huh. Switching those ones does not help. What if I put it in? Aha! 12 cobblestone. That should give us a power level of... Should give us more than that. Hmm. What if we have to craft into stairs? Aha. Uh -huh. That does nothing. I just want to see what that does. Try to make as many items as possible. An unstackable item counts as one stack. Gotcha. Gotcha. So let's see. What can we make with this? Um... Pressure plate, maybe? Slab? Oh, yes. Slabs, 24. That should give us plenty. There we go. Okay, then. Okay. Let's see. What does these three items make? This one makes a, an arrow. What does redstone... Wood and iron make. I don't know. Huh. Well, let's, let's make ourselves the arrow. Because that will be useful for... Other way around. Sorry. Because <laughs> that will be useful for sure. But what about this? Wait. What does that do? That does nothing. Or I could make a flint and steel. That could work. Don't know about the rest of these things. Don't think any of them work. Well, at the very least, we can use the flint and steel to kind of stretch this out. Well, it doesn't really stretch it out. Can we make 
something with no we cannot <sighs> wait a second um I think flint and steel isn't stackable actually it isn't <laughs> I was trying th I was just sitting here just racking my brain trying to think of what could be made with those things plenty by plenty like an arrow or a flint and steel and flint and steel is exactly what we want Dear me. <laughs> it's a lot of things here. I don't know what to make with this stuff. <laughs> this seems a bit random. Huh. Maybe if we just throw it all in there. All in there. Not so much. Do bones take up more space than flowers? I wonder if they do. It might be something to ask someone. Nope, not yet, though. Huh. This is tricky. Um, no, I don't think a bone's stack, but we can craft them into bone meal. That way we got 11 bone meal. And that doesn't do much either. Darn. Or... Or we could take the blue from the orchid. That's light blue. Dang. Red from that. We have to take all the dyes. We have to take all the dyes from all these things. That way we can get plenty of red. We already got pink there. We got 15 red there. That's still dye. <laughs> you can't craft dye into dye without anything else, you know? <laughs> Wait, nope, that's not what I want to do. 22 red. There we go. Shoot. Hmm. Or we can combine the purple and pink into magenta. That way we get 16 magenta. That takes up one less spot. Hmm. Or we could combine the blue and uh, bone into light blue, and that way we get 24 of that. Nice. Can we combine light gray and green? No. Can we combine cyan and green? No. Huh. Can we just throw these things up there? Yes, we could, but it doesn't really help us. Oh, well, shucks. All right, so is there a better way to use light gray with something else to make it better? I don't think so. We could combine the lapis and green into cyan and get more cyan. Not a bad idea. Definitely combining the purple and pink, though. Because purple can't really be combined with anything else to make anything... Right? Sure. I think so. Ah, uh, huh. I, I hope I'm going the right way with this. All right, so if we combine red and white to get pink, then we combine the red and blue to get more purple, then we got 60 magenta. Not too bad so far, actually. <laughs> that might be what we need to do. Let's try this. It is! Ha 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 Perfect! Oh man. <laughs> the thing I like about this and the thing that's also really freaking annoying is that uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do. There's also a lot of stuff you could do. You know? Like it's, there's almost too much, like there's just a ton of noise here. Ah. Uh... I don't know what to do. Turn that to bow meal, obviously. And then hay bales turn into hay, and that's nine hay. Three sugar. Oh, no, I think that was supposed to be paper. Oh, I can make stew out of... Well, there's something else that needs for stew, doesn't it? Yeah, I think there's something else. 
Never mind. Oh, mushroom. Oh, we just needed a larger crafting window. Okay. There we go. That's the rabbit stew. I just could not remember what that one was. That took a long time for me to just figure, to finally figure that one out. But I do, do think I screwed up with this because I think I was supposed to make a book with the paper that I could have made from the sugar. And I have a leather there. I didn't remember that I had a leather. Or realize. Huh. Yeah. You know what? Let's just try this. Let's just see how much room that one takes up. That takes up a fair bit of room, actually. Hey, there we go. That one somehow worked. Book by Oblivion. Fine. Block placed. <sighs> Hooray. You won the map. Woohoo. What? I forgot to tell the puzzle. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> I could just do it the Microsoft way and rename the ninth puzzle to the tenth puzzle. That would anger some people, though. Hmm. Ah, yes, I know. Here, have creative mode. Okay. There's an annoying bug in this map. Go kill it for me. In return, you'll pass the tenth puzzle. Now, go kill that pesky little booger. Okay. <laughs> This is interesting. A hint is the key message. Oh, wait. I wonder what year he died. <sighs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. I'm really bad at actually looking at other people's redstone, but look at this place. Isn't this awesome? This looks awesome. This is great. Whoa. This is crazy right here. <laughs> um... Well, rip old ending one six twenty fifteen to thirteen six twenty fifteen. Book by yes for the end. What? This whole challenge is a fraud. Click the game on what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, is it believing actually Jesper? If it is, I'm going to slap someone. <laughs> Jesper's stopped making maps, but Oblivion, his new name, has not. I don't, I don't know. I'm actually trying to find conspiracy theories here, apparently. <laughs> oh, that was the sequence for breaking down that room right there. I, oh wait, no, I heard the, I heard the, uh, maybe there's a literal bug. It's not looking for just a problem with the register. There's a literal silverfish. I swear if that's it. <laughs> huh. I wonder what this is. Wait, what am I doing flying around trying to find it? I can just... Whoops. That's not what I want to do. TP. And all to entity type equals silverfish. There it is. Hello, bug. Wait. What am I doing? I need to do the smart. Diamond sword! We'll kill that. Congratulations! Yay! Map by Oblivion. Map will be self destruct in lag spike coming. What? Okay, I can't see the uh, start here. What's this? Procrastination parkour. Five, four, three. Oh dear. Two. One. Oh my! Oh, this is killing. Oh, that wasn't too bad, actually. That's really cool. <laughs> nice. That was really fun. Thanks for a great map there, Oblivion. I like this a lot. This is fun. Although now, I know you can uh, summon a book that's renamed to a different author. But at the same time, this is kind of bugging me a little bit right here. It says Jesper on it. it, it not bugging me, but it's making me slightly paranoid that Oblivion is actually Jesper. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this map. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I 
certainly recommend you go and play it for yourself. Oh, a link to which will be downloaded down in the description below for the download. Wait, what's up there? What's up there? TNT. Cause it's TNT. I don't know. Oh, this is the stuff that got launched here. Okay. Apparently not all of it got got uh, updated when it got powered. That's interesting. All right. <laughs> Uh, so that's going to be the end of it. Hope you've enjoyed. Oh, look, a QR code. Should probably check that out. So long, everyone. I keep getting distracted.